welcome back. Today is a fun day because we have an iPhone 5S. And this iPhone 5S is stuck in recovery mode. We have attempted some software solutions to get this guy out of recovery mode and restored, and we cannot. And inspecting it, it appears we might have long screw damage. So let's open this up and take a gander under the microscope and see if we have long screw damage. Yes, two screws were missing. And yes, when I pulled out the screws, the long one was in the wrong hole. So let's take a look under the microscope and see what we can see. Well, that hole looks real nice. Hmm. That hole looks real nice. Derp -de -der. Hmm. That hole looks like something got down in there and made contact, but it looks really nice. Ha! Holy criminy. That hole got long screwed. And I sure wish you could see that, but I don't think you can see it like I can see it. But needless to say, we are going after some long screw damage. See if that's the cause of this phone not booting. So let's tear this down the rest of the way. Back under the scope. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove that with our tweezers here. Beautiful. See if we can determine the extent of this damage. If this is even the cause of everything we got here. That's pretty deep. Pretty deep indeed. We're getting close. Two traces that look, three traces that look like they took some Jean-Claude Van damage. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That one might be okay. So let's see what they do. Well, my ZXW doesn't show me what those things do. So let's test their continuity. I think we have only one bad one, and that is that one. Let me try my probes on this side. Hmm, they are all beeping like they're all good. That one is clearly missing a chunk though. So let's see if we can test it again, because it's missing a piece. Let's make sure that we got nothing touching here. And let's see if we can do a jumper. Hmm, that wire looks really big. It's the tiniest stuff known to man. Oops, where'd it go? Holy cow. How are we going to do this? Let's try to tin this up a bit. Before we go too crazy. Because we need a tiny little bit. That's a frickin' eyelash. That's not a piece of wire. What the hell? Ugh, that stinks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. There's my wire. Man, I need to clean my desk. That's the strangest thing. Stinking eyelash. Alright, let's try this again. There you go. That's what you're supposed to look like. I think we did it. I think we did it. I just ruined it. All right, let's try it again. So we got to straighten this thing out just a little bit because it's obviously cross-lining now. There we go. Got a good connection on the one side. And let's see if we can strengthen the connection on this side. I think we did it. And let's make sure that it's not touching something it's not supposed to. And I would say that looks and feels like a really nice connection. I'm not going to jab at it too much because it looks real good. Yes, I like it. So I guess the only thing we can do is test it. So let's test it. See if it'll boot. We have Apple logo. Okay, so we are going to plug this guy in and see if we can restore him through iTunes. So this is kind of cool. I went to iTunes to download the software 
to update this guy and do a restore. For whatever reason, it said it was going to take 75 minutes. I opened up a different program and told it to exit recovery mode, which I have obviously tried before. And this sucker booted right up. No problemo. So, I think we fixed it. And that is long screw damage, baby. Now the downside to this long screw damage is this was caused by a shop that is right here in my hometown. And this is not the first iPhone that I have seen that has long screw damage from the same shop. And we need to go have a little talk with that shop with their long screw damage. So we are gonna hook up the button here and see if we can test a few things, which we cannot do because we don't have a passcode. But anyway, we got a winner winner, chicken dinner. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next...